again, and as promised, joined by Craig Tiles, soccer super scorer. Every time that I, I read these press releases, it starts out with Craig Tiles. He scored and, like 10 goals. Right. Yeah. And it was uh, Saturday night. It was in sudden death overtime. You finally scored. Uh, <laughs> and then you didn't uh, waste any time on, uh, on so I guess that was Friday night. And then Saturday night, uh, right? Uh, yes. In the semifinals of the PASL. Uh playoff record seven goals amazing quick redemption uh yeah i got a got a chance to uh <laughs> you only scored like 60 this year yeah we saw the same team the next night 24 right. hours later so uh yeah, yeah we had a new game plan and it, it panned out for us oh, nice. but score more yeah, <laughs> yeah. Great. score more and don't great. let them let score, score. <laughs> yeah so it worked that's awesome uh for those who don't know poway high grad san diego state yeah now you're like we were just at that uh, the event, the Hall of Champions, Salute to Champions, and you were uh, the, one of the professional uh, athletes of the year. But Brian Quinn was inducted into the Breitbart Hall of Fame, and he didn't score that much. So I can't say you're like the new uh, <laughs> Brian Quinn, like the new Julie V of the soccer. Right. Yes, yeah. I mean, Except and we can understand you when you speak. <laughs> that, that is true. No, uh, you know, just to be related with some of those guys is a uh, is a great honor, and and our team takes the history of the soccer very seriously, and we know that. You know, they, they laid the groundwork, and we have to live up to it, so. How cool was it to see Brian Crane get inducted? I mean, this is a guy that used to coach you, and, and that, you know, you've been part of his kind of family, his soccer family, for a long time. So how cool was that for you? Yeah, I mean, it's a great honor for him, and uh, and it was wonderful watching him. He did a great he speech. Stole the show, huh? yeah. Oh, it was it was unbelievable, and got to talk to him a little bit after, and it was a great night, and, uh, you know, that's a wonderful event that the Hall of Champions puts on. Hey, you guys are going to uh, now to the semifinals. No, the, uh, yeah, one of the semifinals, and that's at VA Haas, uh, or no, at uh, the Valley View Casino Center yeah. next weekend. Yes. But this weekend, you're doing something in Detroit. It's like this other yeah. tournament. Yeah, we play we a team play, called the Waza. Yeah, we play in the Open Cup Finals in Detroit this weekend. Um, and it's basically a single elimination tournament that runs alongside the league. We've actually won the last three years nice. as well. And you lose, you're out of this sucker. Yep, and, and you yeah. lose one time and you're out. So I think we played Anaheim at one point. Um, Turlock, that other team, we also played. And, um, you know, and basically it goes region by region. So we'll have to knock out some of the smaller teams around here. Our reserve team actually knocks out some of the local teams. Um, and then they get a chance to play maybe in Anaheim. So it's a it's a regional tournament, and it kind of spreads across the country. And and you're left with two finalists, and uh, it's us in Detroit this weekend. And you got to go to the Waza to play them. And we got to go to beautiful Detroit in the winter time. <laughs> That'll be fun. Hey, the big thing this weekend, uh, or I'm sorry, this season, 48 wins. You guys got up to 48 wins, the longest streak of any U.S. professional team. That was over, I think, two and a half, two and a half, two years. And a half years that you did that. The streak broke, a 6-5 overtime loss in Dallas, but still, what did that whole thing mean to you to, to, to do that? Yeah, you know, it was uh, it was unbelievable while it lasted. It was kind of surreal. Um, we just, you know, we took each game, and we went out there and played our hardest, and it kind of just rolled with it. We we didn't anticipate losing, although, you know, it happens, and um, Dallas is a great team, and, and uh, you know, actually, it's probably good for the league that we lost there, and, and the best part about it was we got redemption, I think, five days later against the same team at home, so well, it was nice. And then you went on a six-game win streak, so it's not like, you know, yeah, now you start to start a new win streak. Yeah, you know, you know in the locker room, it wasn't that uh, docile. We were kind yeah. of all looking at each other, and we were like, shake it off, guys, you know. We play this game to win championships, uh, not to set winning streaks, so right. we got to keep going. That's fun, though. That's it's great. easy to shake off the yeah. loss when it happens, like, once yeah. every 55 exactly. games. Yeah. Exactly. It's a little easier you know? <laughs> to do that. Oh. And you're right. Uh, uh, back when I covered the soccer a long time ago, and I'm glad to see you guys back there at the sports arena and actually getting some fans. Right. Yeah. Oh, I feel the man. When I uh, was covering them, that place was full. Yeah. And it, that was Brian Quinn, the Julie V's uh, yep. days. Uh, I'm really happy you guys are back there. No, I agree. It's a it's a great atmosphere. I think uh, it's a step up from Del Mar Arena. Yeah. For um, sure. The fans are right on top of the game. Uh, it's warm in there. Right. It's a it's a top class arena, and uh, you know basically it's worked out for us. At first it was it was a little bittersweet. You know, we're yeah. thinking we're leaving an arena that we've never lost the game at um, and never sold out, but. You know, the guys who get paid the big bucks knew what they were doing, and it was the right call. It's, it's so next Friday, that'll be March 10th, yes. I believe, or March uh, it's, it's March 10th that this, you play in one of the finals against right. Vegas, yes. semifinals, yeah. and the next night will be the championship of the PASL Ron Newman Cup at Valley View Casino Center. Yeah, exactly. So we play Vegas on uh, on Sunday night, Sunday. Uh, March 10th, and... 
and the other side of the bracket is undetermined right now. It's either Dallas Sidekicks or Rio Grande Flash, and they're right. definitely going to face Detroit, another very good team. Okay, um, even though it would be good for other people to win, we're still going to yeah. – we're, we're just we, – we're rooting for the soccer. Absolutely. Best of luck. Good luck in that. Thank All right. you. Thanks so much Thanks, for joining Craig. us, Craig. Thank you very much.